Hey guys, my name's Alex, this is Whispered Moon, and I really hope this video is recording correctly because I was filming all day yesterday with my microphone and my camera. Sometimes it glitches, I'll have to record it again if it actually glitches out, but hopefully everything is okay. Anyway, it is currently July 1st, and it's Thursday, right? Today's July 1st, there's only 30 days in June, right? It has been such a busy month, and I am here today to show you what I made in June, and like, what's been going on or what's been sewing on. I, I'm bad at puns. <laughs> Forgive me. This month has been super busy and I have done not actually a lot of sewing but more so like planning projects and actually getting those projects that I've already done up and posted. I finally finished this embroidery project that one of my friends got me for Christmas this past year so I'm glad I finished it. It's so adorable. I need to like iron out the edges and like try to frame it or something but for now I have the embroidery finished and it's adorable. I did like my last stitches were like the leaves and the stems. I followed the picture because I figured that would be the easiest since I've never done embroidery before but the instructions did say that you can like go off and choose your own instructions and like your own designs but I just decided to be unoriginal and just follow what the picture said but I really like how it turned out and I'm glad that I was able to try this I'll have to see if I can do like a different embroidery kit sometime because I really enjoy like having something small for when I'm watching TV or something and something like embroidery or knitting so Sounds really good. Oh, I actually need to pull out that crochet magazine and see if I can start doing something crochet. I really want to make like this crochet cape. I think that would be so cool. <sighs> Although I have to actually go to the store and buy yarn <laughs> and I don't want to do that. Well, maybe I'll do it in a different color or at least see how much yarn I actually have. I think I have green yarn, so maybe I can try that. So I guess my next project is crochet because I finished my Hogwarts scarves, which was these four scarves that I had. I still need to film like something actually showing off all of them or did I already do that? I can't remember. So I did that and then I worked on my other projects that I will be doing like the underwear one. I worked on that and I still actually need to go and sew a couple more pairs of undies. I found more patterns online for free and I kind of liked how they looked so I'm going to make them. <laughs> I have like... Uh, four more pairs I think that I'm going to make and I think I'm gonna end it there. I've just made the ones that are out of like jersey and stretch materials so it'll just be those but I will provide woven patterns too. If I am going to be providing them so it's no if and or whatever. I did that then I cut out some wool because I wanted to actually look into my wool scraps and I've made two things out of wool and then I made two things out of sweatshirting fleece. Now one of the things I was training please like I have and this isn't even done this is just a current in progress project I just got the fabric to finish it so I'll be able to finish it sometime which is this color block sweatshirt now how did this sweatshirt start because I got some mint green fabric which I wasn't able to find online I actually ran to the mall and I picked some up I offered to make one of my friends a color box sweatshirt off of like what I did this past couple months because I did make a couple of my friends some t-shirts in the past so I figured I would offer to make her a sweatshirt. She wanted one that was in mint green as one of the colors and you can't really find that for or at least I couldn't find that for cheap online so what I did was I went to the mall to H&M and I picked up this mint green sweatshirt which had a lot better size selection than what was off Amazon. H&M they actually have the dude section and I was able to get just a giant sweatshirt so I really like this size that I got and then I was able to get blue and hers has some pink in it I'll put in footage of what hers looks like this is for you oh thank you and I got so you on good. camera Wait, what? I got you on camera <laughs> I cannot with you. Because this one is definitely not done yet. I made two matching sweatshirts off of that. And I'm excited to see how mine actually turns out. It'll probably be done by this next month. I just gotta do the cuffs and the waist cuffs. I don't know. I already have the little drawstrings put in. And I made the hood all by myself too. So that was fun trying to figure out how to do that. But I think it turned out really good. I really like how I actually put it together. And this was just off of the H&M hoodie. I had to figure out everything myself but I put interfacing and little drawstring holes 
and it worked. <laughs> That's how you do it. You have to use interfacing. And it worked a lot better than my sweatshirt project or my sweatpants project originally. So I'm glad I figured out how to do that. And as for my wool projects, I have two things. This is the first thing I made. It is a vest. The vest was from a pattern. It was Simplicity 2866, and I really like how this pattern looks. It's, I think it's from like 2009, something like that. That was my first project. The vest itself was unlined in the instructions, but I decided to line it in some satin that I had. I made a dress out of this satin before, but I don't really like how the dress turned out. I think it didn't really fit all that well, but it did turn out looking decent. <laughs> but the vest itself, I like a lot better. It has like these cool pleat details on the front and the back and it's nice and long in the back so it covers my butt which I like and the lining itself I think it turned out really good I took a hint from the Daria Bustier pattern Rose Cafe and I did the lining where when it had like darts or pleats or anything I just did like little tiny folds in the hem and then I didn't do anything else I thought that was like a genius way to do linings where it doesn't like uh, actually conform to the body like the outer skirt would and it's a bit looser inside so I'm glad that I learned that tip from her pattern. Otherwise I think the vest turned out really well. I hand stitched the hem and it looks really good. The only thing I don't like is that the fabric itself it's a crepe wool and it collects lint like no tomorrow but that's my only complaint. And then the next one that I did was Butterick 6208 and I have had this pattern for a while. I think it's from 1999. Yeah it's from 1999 and it's this jacket and dress like shirt thing it has a whole bunch of stuff but I chose a jacket and I wanted to use all of my wool scraps I managed to get a whole bunch of them I still have some wool left over but I was able to make this jacket I really like it because it's like long and oversized and that seems like a trend that I've seen recently with like oversized jackets and like mini skirts so that's how I styled it oversized jacket and mini skirt and you can see I have the same black wool crepe for the sleeves and then the rest of it is just like plaid wool. It was pretty easy to construct. Again, this pattern was unlined, but I added this lining in it. It was very simple. I just put the lining together separate from the actual jacket and then I just stuck it in there and turned the seams inside and that worked out well. I then, to get it to be underneath the hem at the bottom here, I just surged the hem of the outside to the hem of the inside of the lining and then I folded that over and it looks great and then again I hand stitched the hem. The buttonholes were a bit tricky but I managed to get them done and I've come to a realization that with buttonholes I need to just put tissue paper on the top and the bottom of them and they will sew a lot smoother. So I'm glad I figured that out. Was that all I made? Oh yeah that's all I have to show you for this month. I didn't make a lot but I am doing a big project this next month which is take it up all of of my mental energy. So that's why I haven't been sewing too, too much. I did go fabric shopping with my friend who modeled my sweatshirt for me, which is actually her sweatshirt. It was nice she agreed to go fabric shopping with me after I gave her that sweatshirt. That was very nice of her and I managed to pick up some good fabric finds. I went to two of my fabric store haunts that I love going to, which were Fine Fabrics and Gail K, which are stores in Atlanta. They don't have like online presences, I don't think, but they're the stores that I go to since they're local. The first one I picked up was some white jersey from the remnant section and this is a four-way stretch jersey and I really like it. I'm going to probably just do a small project with it. I'm thinking about actually making another Vera top with that white jersey because I really want like a white bishop sleeve top and I like that pattern. I don't know if I'm going to do the v-neck version or not. I might see if I can alter the Vera pattern itself. And then the second and third one, I think those are both rib knitting that I actually got online from Mood Fabrics. I was wanting some rib knitting for my sweatshirt because the one that I gave to my friend, it was the ribbed knitting cuff bands, whatever. Those were from the original sweatshirt that I bought, but that leaves me with no ribbed knitting for my own 
and I learned with my previous sweatpants that I made if I'm going to do cuff bands I really should get actual rib knit so I found those online I got like a blue one and a pink one I figured those would be the best the blue one it didn't really have a good color description so it didn't turn out exactly how I wanted but it's good enough so <laughs> I think we'll survive it doesn't have to be perfect it's just cuff bands who cares and I mean no one will know that it wasn't the color that I wanted just because I use it they'll just think it's a cuff band and oh style detail cool who cares it's clothing no normal person except for <laughs> sewists know to look for these details and even then it might just be a style choice by whoever made it then uh what else what was next on the pile oh I got this really cool it's like a Coil twill, something like that. It, it was like this cotton. It has like this English garden motif on it, and it's so cute. And this is actually being used for a secret project. Actually, this one and the next one, which is like this, I really need to learn the name of this fabric, but I just keep calling it carpet fabric. But I'm using those two for secret projects that I've already made one out of the English motif, and I'm still going to make something probably this summer out of the purple carpet fabric. But those are gonna be secret projects and you'll find out about them later this year. I'll tell you guys about them eventually but secret projects aren't they adorable? I love them. So cute. I might make another separate project out of the English garden one though so that won't be secret but the one I've actually already made something you can't know what it is but it's really cute so I can't wait to tell you more. Yeah but I got those fabrics and I made a secret project and that was the end of my month so I haven't really made anything else and I am doing a whole bunch of stuff this next month and I'm trying my best to get everything done and actually put out after this I'm going to be editing this video all day long and hopefully I'll be able to get this video done so I can put it out on Saturday I hope you guys have had a wonderful day I hope you guys have had a great week I hope you guys will have a great next week and I can't wait to share my undies project with you guys next week fingers crossed oh gosh I hope that my computer doesn't have any problems but bye <laughs>